Hello, my name is Cindy. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today I'm going to give you an update on my hand crafts. This is a dishcloth that I made and I made a lot of these the, in, within the last month or so. I also went on a long trip. I did not drive. I actually rode in the car. So I made a lot of these dishcloths and I just wanted to give an update for the different types that I was able to make. All of these dishcloths are made with this type of yarn. This one, the brand is Loops and Threads. I believe I got this one at Walmart. And this is medium. And the thing that is very important if you're gonna make dishcloths is that you use one, <clears throat> excuse me, 100% cotton yarn. So this is 100% cotton, it comes like this. This was $1.99 when I was in South Carolina. Um, up here, sometimes it's $2.99 for one of those skeins. You can also get it like this on the cone. This was almost $10, $9 and something. And this is a lot. <laughs> this will make several dishcloths. So I have one started here. Now these are crocheted. I love the round ones. They seem to work up really quick and I love the design. This is a new design that I started. I found this design on YouTube and I just kind of make a circle and then there's a border on it. And these are great to use. You could use it as a doily, you know, put something on it, put it in the middle of your table, put your salt and pepper shaker on it or something but you can also use it as a dishcloth. So you just get it wet and you use it to wash your tables and counters and they are washable. They're great. They last a very long time. So here I'm going to show you some of the ones that I have made. This one is a pink with a variegated on the outside. This is the same pattern as the one I just showed you. And I also made some square ones. This is like a granny square with a border and has a little hole here. You could just hang it up like that. Um, you want to use it and then hang it up to dry and then keep them washed. So I like to have, you know, four or five of these on hand and then just keep washing them. They will stand up to good washing. This is also a granny square with a border. This one I made like a little hook on it so you can hang it up. The, here's another one. I love this one. I just had a little bit of this variegated yarn so I made the middle that color and then put a larger border on it. So I am making these to hand, sell in a local craft fair near my house uh, at my school actually. So here you go, here's some Christmas ones. And I love these, the sunflower. <laughs> these are awesome. I started making these when my kids were younger and we would make the square knitted ones and we would go on a trip and we kind of pass it around. And then I just started making these flower ones. I just thought they were really nice. I have made these for to give away for a wedding gift, you know, make like a dozen or so. Makes a great gift. So um, I sell these about $5 a piece. I would like to charge more, but $5 seems to be reasonable. Um, so when I buy one of these, I can get probably about two and a half from one ball, which is $2. So I make a little bit of money. I like the crocheted ones. They work up a little faster than the knitted ones. Here's some more sunflowers. And I do have a tutorial on my channel for the knitted square, which this is the gr grandmother's favorite square, which is knitted. You start at one corner and then you work your way through and you make a triangle and then you start decreasing. So it kind of increase, 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 decrease, decrease, decrease. And it's called grandmother's favorite dishcloth. I do have a tutorial for those. 
I do not have a tutorial for the flowered ones. If you would like a tutorial for that, go ahead and post a comment below. Here's a few more of the knitted square. Now I did have some, some requests for the square type. So I made a few of those. And I also made some crocheted squared ones. I kind of made my own little design on those. Some of these are double crochet, half double crochet, and this one is a mix between double crochet and half double crochet. So those came, those came out really nice. So I'm hoping that people, when they buy one, they're gonna want more than one. This is a really fun shape. This is a star, okay? This is a star shape and these match. Here's a flower one with a smaller flower one. And I have more of the stars here. I love the star. I got a smaller hook and I'd like to make these with a smaller hook as well to get more of a star look. But no matter what the style, they work the same way. It just is a matter of what you like. Maybe the kitchen style that you have. Here's a green and tan. And when I went to Walmart the last time, I was looking for these earth tones. I think that these colors are pretty popular, but they didn't have any, so maybe they were all out. So here's a granny square one. I love that one. Here's another granny square one. So those are my earth tones. And this one's a little bit of a mixture, kind of a Christmassy green and red. I love these. Okay, so I have about 50. So if you're interested in buying some, go ahead and post below. I could sell you some right from this video. Um, if you would like to know how to make these, also post below. I would love to help you make some. Like I said, it's important to do the 100% cotton if you want to use these for a dishcloth. But I'll tell you, you could also make these for doilies. You could use them for other reasons. You could make them a little bigger and make placemats. Or you could make, I love this one, has a little border on it. It's really pretty. Um, you could use these to, just to make it a little bigger and use a little uh, doily in the front, in the middle of your table. Here's a fun one. This one took a little while, kind of a pinwheel type style. I only made one of those and more blue. So these are a lot of fun. Let me know what you think. Post below in the comments. So that's what I've been doing and I'm hoping to sell them and then I hope to give some of these away for Christmas gifts as well. So it's a great way to give of yourself to others and I try to give them to people who do appreciate handmade gifts. I think most people do, right? And especially things that are as pretty as these. And I have to try to tell people these are dishcloths. You have to, you know, you get them wet, you use them, and they are very durable. Don't be afraid to wear them out because it's pretty hard to wear them out. They're so gorgeous. I love them. And I can't wait to make more. I'm addicted. <laughs> Thanks for watching. And I hope to give you also an update on the last shawl that I made. It came out great and this is made for a gift and I'm already planning on making another one for someone else special that has asked for one. This one took me quite a while. I don't just sit there and knit, 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 but it's kind of one of those bigger projects that you pull out when you just want to just kind of move along without switching colors or without, you know, much thinking, I guess you'd say. Sit and watch a movie and you can knit or when you're in the car or different places like that. But this is one that I made for a friend and I can't wait to show it to you. It is also made from the pattern, the Carolina's shawl that I have videos about. I made one for myself that is gray with green stripes and it's the Outlander shawl. 
I made another one with a different type of yarn and it looks completely different. I can't wait to show you. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.